Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lab Classic Remastered. This time we're taking a look at the 1998 Daihatsu Mira TX four-wheel drive. If you are from a different country, you might recognise this as the Kawore. Although probably not, because uh, the Kawore did not sell. Um, yeah, this is a Japanese key car that looks slightly dowdy, but I love it because it's a Daihatsu. And I love Daihatsu as much as the media doesn't at the moment. Anyways, four-wheel drive, 165 horsepower, 686 kilos. Those are regular key car stats, and you know what that means. This is probably going to be uh, slow. It is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Toyota Celica Rally Car, set a time of 27.552. Uh, the Mira is uh, uh, not beating that. Uh, the Mira has a five-speed. Okay, that's cool. Um... Yeah, I like this car a lot, actually, I'll be honest. I kind of like the Quarry. It's just sort of small and cute and chuckable. And to be fair, most key cars from around this time period were a bit mental. And this one is no exception. Now, I should point out the GT2 Plus mod does fix a little bit of an issue. Uh, this car had that you probably didn't even notice. And I certainly didn't. Um, this um, has in the base game, uh, the exact same engine that the uh, the Quare TR four-wheel drive has, uh, which is incorrect. This should have a naturally aspirated engine, and it does now, thanks to the GT2 Plus mod, this uh, turbocharger added in um, by the game's upgrading system, because otherwise this car would make no power whatsoever. And in fairness, it still doesn't, and apparently as soon as you shift into third gear, it just stops moving um that's interesting 34.030 on its first lap i'm not expecting this to be a, a quick key car i should point out this is sort of more daihatsu opti club sport level although not quite because it has beaten the opti club sport by over two seconds on its opening gambit uh which is something as soon as you shift into third gear it just has no power uh this one has um quite a cool race mod i think it's a lot of the Daihatsus have this, but uh, this one I think is definitely worth mentioning, pointing out, because it's on a car that it shouldn't be. Um, it has the um, same livery as the Daihatsu uh, Storia Rally Car, which actually led our leaderboard for a little while. Uh, not very long, but it did do it at one point in time. Very cool car, so a uh, nice little homage to that, obviously. A bit weird to see it on the, uh, the slightly smaller... Um, Mira slash Quarry. Uh, the other Sirions, in case you're wondering, do have this as the uh, de facto race mod, and it's available in a lot more colours, which is quite interesting. So uh, look forward to that. Unfortunately, this one, uh, the racing mod on this is not particularly interesting. I think it comes in red and blue. Um, I would have, in all honesty, preferred to run um, the race mod on the uh, the other Quarry. Or rather, I think, yeah, I'd have preferred to have run the race mod on um, one of them. I can't remember. I'm running it on both. Uh, for some reason, my brain's drawn a blank. Because this used to just have a cloned engine, this was going to run uh, no race mod, so you can embrace the uh, sort of base modelness that it looks like. But um, because it's been fixed, uh, both of them are running race mod or something to that effect, I'm not really sure. Um, or maybe the other Quarry was not going to run a race mod, so you can appreciate the uh, the aero package that that car has. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, it's been corrected, so both of them are going to run it to give them the best shot of glory. Admittedly, it hasn't really worked in this case. 33.537 does make it one of the slowest cars uh, we've ever had. It is not the slowest key car we've ever had. It's not the slowest Daihatsu we've ever had. Um, there is stuff slower than this, but I mean 165 horsepower and it actually weighs quite a bit for a key car as well And uh, it sort of all Conspires against the uh, the little mirror a little bit um, Yeah, I, I don't think there's much time in that if I'm being honest maybe like point one, but It's so slow <laughs> You can see the, like, the speed trap. That is 104 kilometers an hour is about 64 miles an hour. Not quick. 
At 33.537 places this into a bit of a no man's land, 220th place. Um, it goes in between the Mitsubishi Legno ST, which is a terrible car, and the Suzuki Servo Mode SR4. It is quicker than Mitsubishi Mini PJ and the Honda Life and the Honda Beats, both of them. Um, slightly slower than the Nissan Cube and the AutoZam and the Plymouth GCX. So, not... I mean, it's not, like, horrendous. It's not like Daihatsu Move CX or Opti Club Sport levels, but... Um, Hey, far off. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'm drawing something um, faster. Until then, farewell.